Hello, it's Lisa again. I know it's been a while since we've done videos, so today we're doing two. So here's video number two. This stamp I just thought was very cute. It's by a company called Funny Bones, uh, which Riley makes. And I thought it was real cute, so I wanted to do something fun with it. Uh, I know it's the end of summer, but I thought still this would be a great card to send to a friend. So it says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Kind of like me, I like to think. So to make this card, it is very simple. I've done videos with these before, but I want to show you again how easy it is to work with the distressed inks, adding some water to get this really cool imperfect effect, which is why I like the distressed inks. You're not going for perfect like you are with Copic markers. Here you're kind of adding layers of color uh, as often as you'd like till you get the desired effect. So we're going to start with a piece of watercolor paper for the white. That's real important because it has to be able to absorb the water and withstand the water we're going to add. And then we have a scalloped oval. We have an embossing folder, which is by Deris, used uh, with, with the yellow piece, and simply mounting everything together with uh, finishing with a few little sequins. So today, let's work on our distressed. Uh, we're going to use two different colors, yellow and green. We're going to have mustard seed and mowed lawn. So in order to do this, um, the first thing we need to do is use a Versamark pad and white embossing powder. And if you've never embossed before, please ask next time you come to the store. It's so simple, and it adds just such a really cool effect. So hopefully you can tell here, I've embossed this with white, so of course it's tone on tone, but when we add the color, you'll really be able to see. Um, so all you do is use a Versamark pad, sprinkle white embossing powder, and then use the heat gun, which is this guy here that you may have seen laying around the store. And what that does is melt the embossing powder so that you get the, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. That can be our okay. oops. That can be our oops. <laughs> There's question. our oops. Um, so you melt the embossing powder, and that's how you get that shine there. Okay? So then you need to get a palette, which is this clear um, laminated piece that you're going to just simply take ink and scribble a few colors on. It's as simple as that. So we have green, and we have yellow. Okay? And then you need a water brush. Um, any of the sizes will work for this project. You need a little bit of water and a paper towel. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with some of my yellow. So I'm going to wet my brush and just lightly wet my surface. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to kind of smear. And then I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to go down here. And you can see it's not perfect. I'm just kind of putting it in there. Okay? Then I'm going to wet my brush in between and kind of get it clean. Let's start adding some green. So I'm kind of dabbing in there to kind of get some major color. I don't want it to be pretty. I want it to kind of be imperfect. Now you'll see there's color that's kind of um, hanging out on top of the pineapple. All you do is take a paper towel and kind of dab, and the ink does not stick to the embossed, which is why it's so cool to use an embossed part for this project. So let's add a little bit more green. And I'm going to keep adding a few layers until I like what I've gotten. Now in a second, I'm going to use the heat gun. I'm going to dry this because when it does dry, it gets a little bit lighter. And let's see where we're at. I might need to go back and add another layer. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've dried what I've done on layer number one and always needs maybe two or three different layers. So I'm going to add a little bit more green and this time I'm going to kind of use a tapping motion because I want some splotches to stay kind of nice and dark in several sections. There is no rhyme or reason to this. You just kind of put it where you think it looks good. And we can either blot this then with a paper towel or go over and again use the heat gun. Okay, now let me wash my brush. Let's use a little bit of yellow. I just kind of want to darken some of the colors. Hello, how are you? Good. Do you show restroom? Sure. Would you like to be in the video? <laughs> Not in the restroom. No, no. We don't, we don't do that either. All right, there's a funny. She's funny, this customer. I like her. Okay, so. She said, well, not in the restroom. <laughs> okay, so I think I like where I'm at now. What I'm going to do is load the brush now with green, and I'm going to kind of use a tapping motion. And what you're going to get is some little dots. So you'll see the dots that are appearing. I just think that kind of looks fun at the end. So let me show you the sample one again. Um, if you are done and you decide, you know what, I, I don't really like what, it, what I've done. It's too dark. Just simply take some water. And what I've done, these splotches right here are actually water splotches. So what I did at the very end then, I just took the brush full of water and I just kind of went like this. And I'm going to let that dry and what that does is create these splotches right there. And again, I'll wipe off over top of the emboss so that uh, all the white embossing shows. Go ahead and complete the card. Very, very simple. 
give the Distressed Inks a try. I love them. They're very fun, very easy to use. See you soon.